Hello, I'm JJ Dakota. This is Duke Do Reports. Scott Linehan is out of here. The Xbox One will have no disc. It will be all downloaded. And we will have a Nintendo 64 Classic. GameCube Classic. And Nintendo Switch will be playing. Let you play. Super Nintendo games, 64 games, GameCube games. This is all in Duke Do News. Good evening, good night, and good day. Well, well, well. We finally get the people to say, well, it's always like this when the Dallas Cowboys, the first story of Duke Do News. We want Scott Livington out of here. We want him see ya, goodbye. And would that change anything with the Dallas Cowboys? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I think that we have to just think about this. We have to find maybe the right coach or something here? Is that what we're getting at? I just don't know. Hmm. But I think maybe it would be a good idea to just see what Jerry does because Jerry always knows what he wants to do and he'll do what he'll have to do. Nintendo 64. We are getting a new Classic and GameCube Classic, I would really, really enjoy that. And think about one thing. Could we please have maybe a wireless controller, like what the 8-bit dual controller is? That would be pretty nice, I would say. <clears throat> and Nintendo Switch is finally, finally going to have not just Nintendo games, they will have Super Nintendo games. They will have maybe Nintendo 64 games. And maybe even GameCube games. Maybe Game Boy Advance games. But is this really good? I think it's very excellent. Is the Nintendo Classic 64 GameCube coming? Yes, hopefully so. Because you remember that they said that they weren't going to do any more classic systems. So this could be just a rumor. <clears throat> Xbox One is going to bring out a system called the Maverick. The Ooh, oh boy, the Maverick, huh? Well, I guess this is a good thing too. No disc. All you gotta do is just download your game and download, if you have the disc to the game, you can download that. That's amazing. That's incredible. The Eagles fans don't take it so well losing to the Saints. Some bust walls, some are very angry, and some say very bad words. Do Eagle fans overreact? Of their team losing, maybe, or Dallas Cowboy fans more calm than the Dallas, more, you know, a fan that says, okay, fine, we'll, we'll be back, we'll ride another day. And Eagle fans are like, <laughs> not very happy, very much upsetting a lot of cuss words. Well, there was a, one band that was saying, mm, okay. Fine. See you guys later. And I guess it just... You just have some fans that are crazy fanatics about football and their team. And they don't hesitate to say not too bad words. But, hey, you know, sometimes if you have to say a bad word, then you have to say a bad word. So, do the Eagle fans look at themselves and say, Oh, darn, we have one Super Bowl. 
what are we going to do? Well, you know, cowboy fans haven't had... Well, we've had five... We have five time. Five time. Five time Super Bowl champions. But what can you say? We are America's team. Today, we will say we'll be back with the Dallas Cowboys. We'll be back. And sorry, Eagles. We still got a place for you to sit on the sideline couch with the Steelers, the Green Bay Packers, and all the fan base that thought they were really hot. S, if you would say it, I could say that. I'm JJ Dakota. This has been Duke Do Reports. Here is the weather forecast. It's cold as crap outside. I need to bundle up. Cole Beasley had a baby boy. And JJ Barea is going to have to have surgery. Um... Uh, Season ending surgery. We hope for the best and we hope that he gets well soon so he can be on the court again and play awesome as he always does. And are they going to trade the Dallas Mavericks? Dennis Smith Jr. This is some of the other stories that I forgot. I'm JJ Dakota.